in a previous video just recently I went over just the, an intro to Chartify and I want to continue working on that and this time we'll load a data from a CSV file uh, and then make some plots that way so we can, can work on loading the data. So if you haven't seen that, watch that previous video. I'll include a link in the description and, and at the end also. And I'm going to start out here in this same PyCharm project and I'm just going to create uh, a new file here, a new Python file. And we will call this, uh, just call it load. So I'm going to import Chartify. I'm going to import pandas as pd. And I'm going to come back over to my test file and I'm going to grab this file name, uh, a file I have here. So let's come back and load that. Now, uh, to install Chartify, you can see the previous video. Uh, I'll show you how to do that in the other video. Now, the next step is going to be to load this data into a pandas data frame. And we can do that, and we'll do data equals pd read csv. We'll give it the file name, and then separator sep is going to equal a comma. And let's go print head data. And we'll just make sure that this is loaded correctly and that everything looks good. So let's come down here. We need to run our load. And so we'll come down here, go to run and load. And this might take just a minute to, to run the first time. Okay, so I got an error here, and that's because uh, I have the wrong file. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, run again here. And I have another error uh, because I wrote the wrong thing. I need to go data dot head. Hopefully that will work. And let's click run again. And here we go. Now we can see some of these variables. So this, these data, uh, it's from a Snowtel site, uh, which is snow data. So it has snowpack precipitation. It has a date. You can see a snow water equivalent in inches at the start of the day. You have precipitation accumulation, um, air temperature, you know, air temperature minimum, temperature average. Um, so we have all these things. Uh, that are done, you know, by date. And so now we have the, these data read in. Uh, we can start looking at these with some charts. So in the last video, uh, we tried to do a line chart by date, which didn't work out really great because I'm just gonna open these up um, because the dates were kind of all over the place. Here they're nice and ordered, as you can see. And so we can plot these by date. So let's go ahead uh, and we'll do that. So the first thing we need to do is make a chart. So chart equals chartify.chart. And We need to go x-axis type. We'll make this a date time. And y-axis type. If y'all already equals linear, we'll keep it linear. So we'll just keep those defaults. And then uh, we're going to need to give our axes some labels. And then put a breakpoint in there that I don't need. So we can do chart. Um, set, let's set our title. And we can do this, uh, we'll just call it by date. And chart.set subtitle variables by date. I didn't spell variables correctly. 
and then we can do chart dot axes dot set x axis label and this will be date and chart dot axes dot set y axis label and this will be the value we'll do that for now okay now I'm just going to head back over to test and just take a look at how we've done some of these things and oh, we can set a source label um, chart dot set source label and we'll call this snowtail okay then let's go take a look at how we're going to do these charts okay so we want to do chart dot plot dot line and so our data we want to do data we're going to do x column is going to equal this is where we want to go date okay and then we'll do y column is going to equal um, let's go snow water equivalent inches start of day values it's a pretty long column name that's what it is uh, from the raw data that I downloaded. So we'll see uh, if that has problems with the uh, with the spaces in that name. And let's go ahead and give this a run and see what we get. Okay, so we have this error here. It looks like we should have a problem with the format of our date. And so we just need to reformat that. And we can do that with pandas. So let's go data and we'll get the date column and we're going to do pd to date time and we're going to get data date and then we just need to uh, give it a format which is going to be month forward slash day forward slash year so that should reformat everything there. Um, oh, and then I also need to add a chart.show at the end here. And let's see if that gives us a chart. Click it run. Okay, and there's our chart. And you can see that it's broken it up by year. Uh, we have 2010 all the way up to 2018 in this file. And you can see we have values ranging from zero uh, up to 35. And that's for the snow water equivalent. Um, so there we have a chart by date. Okay, so I'm just going to print out the head of our data again so we can see which uh, variables we have. Uh, and then we can add another line to this plot. Okay, and so we have precipitation increment, we have air temperature, uh, maximum, minimum, precipitation accumulation. So, maybe what we'll do here is we'll add temperature in here. So we've got air temperature maximum, air temperature minimum. And so we can add a line to this chart simply by going chart dot plot dot line. We can go data. Next column, we're going to want to make this date again. And then y column is going to equal uh, 
Enter temperature maximum degrees Fahrenheit. And so that should give us another line on the graph. Now let's give this a run and see how it looks. Okay, so here's our plot. And so you can see the air temperature is shown by this orange line here. Um, now let's go and try to do a minim uh, add a minimum air temperature onto there as well. So I'm gonna uh, come back over to Chartify and let's just copy this line of code and paste it down beneath. And I think we just want to make this our minimum. Okay. And let's run that. Okay, so there you can see that now we have our minimum temperature plotted in green, and the last line you write the code for is the one that plots on top, so it's covered up our, our blue line down there. Uh, I'm going to cut the, the video off there. That kind of shows you how to plot things by date and do these line plots. Um, we can come back in another video, and there's a way you can shade in between these um, and plot a line in between, so maybe we'll work on that in the next video. Once again, if you have any suggestions, for what we can do here, um, or any ideas for, for Chartify, for Python, uh, for things in C++, or R, or any QGIS, or, or Python GIS stuff, uh, please let me know. I'm happy to, to make any videos that meet your interests. So just leave a comment below. I'd be glad to hear from you. Thanks for watching.